most frequent. So the ULN is, uh, can be used with Arduino to run things that need more power, basically. Because uh, the Arduino itself, it can only provide uh, small currents and also uh, only small voltages, uh, 5 volts, basically. Uh, if you need to run something that needs more, more power, voltage or current, for example, a computer fan. And in this case, we, I, we picked the fans for you to have in the kits because they are kind of small, but you could actually run uh, other stuff as well. Uh, so what is included in the kit is a 12 volt adapter, like this one. And I should actually try now to connect this one. So the first thing you have to check is uh, if you got uh, voltage from it, if you got power from the from the power adapter. Which what, what you also have in the kits is this uh, female socket for this uh, DC connector plug. So basically, I have this one, and what I have already done is actually to uh, attach these uh, prototyping or jumper wires uh, with a screwdriver here, like this. So it's already attached, but. But uh, what I want to do as a first step is to actually check that I actually got uh, some voltage from the uh, power adapter or power supply. So I will turn on uh, the measuring for voltage, V and the two lines, voltage DC, voltmeter. And I will measure uh, the voltage here. So I can see there is a mark for minus and one for plus. And it could be correct, but you never know. So I'll actually check. And I see that, yeah, it seems to work correct. The red one is for plus and the black one is for minus. And I see that the voltage across uh, the two terminals here is 16.07 volts. Uh, if I turn around and measure on the other way around, you will see that it says minus uh, 16 volts. So it seems like uh, the polarity basically uh, plus and minus uh, polarity is correct and thus I got uh, 16 volts out. That is perfect. Now the next part is how can we make uh, this go into the fan? Well, first thing I could try of course is to take the fan here and just see that it works. So I will actually do that now. I have uh, found the three holes here in the fan, in the one I got, and I see there is a black, a red, and a yellow wire. So uh, by convention, red is always power, and black is always ground, so that's the ones I connect here. So I will connect these ones here, and just for testing purposes, I will see that I got power to turn the fan on. And uh, as you see, uh, the fan seems to work fine. So that's all well and good. But what if I want to control the fan from uh, my Arduino sketch? Well, that makes it harder. So I need some extra circuitry. And in this case, we will use this one, uh, the ULAN 2003. This uh, ship can talk uh, on one side with the Arduino and the pins on the Arduino, and on the other side with uh, 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 greater voltages. It's a Darlington transistor array, is what it's called. I'll see if I can find, oh, here I have it already prepared. So here is a small sketch of the ULN. And what is uh, the weird thing about this one is that uh, basically how to explain it. What you do with this kind of ship is that you turn on and off the ground for the thing you drive. So if we have, uh, uh, if we think about our computer fan, our motor in this case, this one, we want to drive it. And we have 12 volts from the power adapter plus. We put it not into the ship and then out to the uh, fan we actually put it directly into the fan. This is now the sign for that one, spinning around very quickly. And from the 
uh, minus side of the fan we then connect it to the ship and the ship somewhere here will also be connected to uh, the ground or the minus point of the uh, power adapter so here is the power adapter So you see, what is strange for many people when they see the, this the first time is that you actually uh, provide power directly to the motor. And you might think, well, then it would run all the time. But no, because for anything to work, you need to close the circuit. So the power goes into the fan and the minus side here gets turned on or turned off depending on what happens inside this ship. So this is now the, uh, this ship here. So what happens on this one is you have a few of these pins here on the right side. You can see there's a small, there's a small uh, uh, bump in the, uh, an inset in the ship. So that is how you know which uh, what is up and down on the ship and uh, in this case I draw it here so this is up on the ship and what we have here are different ports and this one down in the left is ground basically and we have these digital inputs on the left side all the way uh, and these ones you can connect to the Arduino to control to turn up or down these ones or high or low basically with uh, you know, digital write. You can connect these ones from, for example, pin number eight or something like that. And then in your code, you would write digital write eight high. Then you will turn this to five volts. And then it would inside of the ship say, okay, let's then connect this one to ground. So it will create this kind of uh, connection, which will allow uh, the uh, current or the, the power uh, the, the power adapter to run through here and power the motor. So that is the basic structure of how this ship works. So these inputs here on the left side will determine if the uh, inputs on the right side on the ex ex exactly op opposite, opposite side is connected to ground and then closes the circuit and lets the uh, uh, circuitry run through like this. What should also be mentioned by me are two more things. Because voltage is always rel relative to things, so if I only connect this to the chip, it will be hard for the ship to understand uh, the voltage on this part here. So it is in relation to, vo to ground. So both the power supply and the Arduino needs what is referred to as common ground and that is why we also besides connecting this one to the minus part of the power supply we also connect it to ground on the Arduino all right the last part here is the right left side uh, no the right bottom side bottom right side here this one opposite to the left side there is ground there is one pin it's called com and what you should uh, do is actually uh, also besides running the power from the uh, power supply to the motor you should also run it directly to this one uh, it's not strictly necessary uh, especially if there are non-inductive loads which is also a weird word but motors and some other mechanical things uh, they actually uh, not only receive power but they will actually generate power if uh, you for example apply a voltage to a motor and it starts spinning and it goes around and when you s release the voltage it will continue spinning for a little bit when it slows down from the friction and from everything from the momentum and uh, what this uh, generates is a, s a power that is uh, heading backwards in the circuitry so Basically why you would connect this part here is to protect the circuitry inside here so it wouldn't uh, damage things when the uh, current goes backwards in the circuit. This is the, the thing is called kickback current uh, and it's a, 
yeah, it's a, it's a problem with motors, and you always need this kind of protection circuitry. And uh, this ship has a built-in functionality to protect against kickback uh, current, and it's by connecting the 12, the plus side of the power supply, also to this COM port down in the right corner. Okay, so that is uh, a general go through of the ULAN. Here is a, perhaps a more a clean uh, drawing of this. I think perhaps we should try it. Uh, so I will try now to hook up the uh, motor here and we shall see if it works. First off, we have the power from the power supply and I will put it here and I will take the ground perhaps I should turn this one around because that might, might be more easy to see and also do this so here I have the ground from the power uh, supply but I also like I said before I need to connect the ground from the Arduino as well. I'm going to take a longer cable if I have one. <laughs> yeah, this is better. So, and I now need also to connect the motor somehow. So, like I said, Here's the input from uh, the power supply and it should go directly into the motor. So the red cable from the motor and the output, the minus part of the motor goes into uh, the channel of the chip. I also said that we should connect uh, the uh, 12 volts to the COM port or the COM pin of the chip, which is this one down in the right corner. So I will connect that one to the positive side of the power supply as well. All right, so now it should be hooked up and ready to be controlled by a digital pin on the Arduino. But what I will try as a first step is to just pretend that I have a a digital pin, so I'll actually connect it directly to 5 volts of the Arduino instead. And I have 5 volts on this this cable here. So let's try that. And as you see, if I turn it on in, it will uh, start the motor. And when I release it, it will stop. So this is basically me faking a digital pin. But I could, of course, take this one here, this one here, and instead of connecting it directly to 5 volts of the Arduino, I could connect it to a digital pin and thus control the motor. So what I do now, I connected it to pin number 7, and then I could also connect the button for example, to pin number eight. And then I would be able now to uh, read the button and depending on the button state, I can turn on and off uh, the motor. So the button is on pin eight and the motor is on pin seven. Then I can actually go ahead and write uh, the program. Let's check that out. I will rename this one to be motor pin. And I think I put it on seven. Yes. And the button pin is on eight. So that's good. Perfect, and then instead of doing this old code, I will just well, I will actually do digital write. 
I directly digital right to the motor pin and I will take the inverted value of the button pin. And let's see if this works. So if I per if I press the button now, you will see that the motor starts. So basically we have an Arduino code that can control a 12 volt thing. And uh, that is the main goal of this, this exercise. So that's all for now. Uh, if you haven't done this exercise yet, you should go ahead and try it on your own and experiment. Maybe if you have more things that you could drive, you can try that out as well. Um, yeah, cool.